Hi folks, uh, Christmas has just passed and I uh, got a few goodies. This uh, was made for me by my other half, Sarah Jane. She's an artist who makes all sorts of Christmassy things. I'll put a link below. So technically this is an affiliated sponsored thing. It's actually my Christmas present, but there's a couple of pedals in there, but I'll save one for later. Um, first one you've seen already, which was the EQ pedal I did, running into the PV. Um, so check that one out. But I got this one. It's a Joyo Dark Flame. Now, I'm not usually one to use a distortion pedal. I've not owned a distortion pedal since the early 90s when I had um, the Marshall Shredmaster. I've got a video of one of those as well before I sold it, but it's gone. However, I was in kind of enthralled a bit with the Rev G3, the purple one, and kept talking about it. Ooh. Um, however, they're quite expensive, very, very good, but quite expensive. And I then found out about this. And Joy will make their own version of it, essentially. So this is what I've got. And as you see, I've not, I've not unwrapped it. I've not tried it out yet. So I'm going to. And you're going to hopefully enjoy going along this journey as well. So uh, I'll plug it into the front of my Bugera 333XL, which has got the, the clean channel. Um, I may also try this as a preamp into the return of the effects loop, but uh, we'll see how we get on. And I'll try it with a couple of guitars. I might even break out the seven string for this. So hopefully a bit of detail. Like I say, I've not used a distortion pedal in years. I think since about 1994. So this will be a, a real journey for me. And we'll see how we get on. So uh, I'll pause this just now and get this set up into the front of the Bugera using the Laney IRT 4x12 cabinet. So we're into, you know, proper heavy rock stuff. And uh, see how we go on. Back in a minute. Okay, I've not quite got it set up yet, but um, I've got it plugged into my little Engel power tap portable with the little phone battery, which I find a really handy thing if I'm just running a couple of pedals. It glows. So I've not got it all wired up yet, but look at that. It's all bright and shiny. It's very Christmassy. So that's very, very cool. Anyway, that's just a quick thing before I get it plugged in. I just thought, uh, yeah, it looks very smart. That's something very different. And I suppose on stage, you're not going to miss that when it's sitting looking at you like that. You'll know exactly which one to stomp on. And that stays on all the time, whether the, the, the front light is on or off. It's... Uh, they're on, and it's on the front edge as well. So the audience can see you've got one too. Yeah, I'll set all these to noon. Everything's up ready. I'll get this plugged in, be right back. That was a little bonus. Okay, hello again, <laughs> we're back. Um, for this, just so you know, I'll sneak it into the shot. I'm using my Jackson SL2Q, which is this beast here with Seymour Duncan Distortion Humbuckers. It's just a three-way selector. I'm keeping it nice and simple. This is tuned to D. So we're keeping it quite straightforward and metal. So I'll tilt that slightly towards you or tilt this slightly towards it, whichever works best. There we go. Okay, so my clean tone, which I've never used, but here we go. <laughs> So that's just the guitar, straight into this, out and into the amp, into the front of the amp, 
in the clean setting. So I've got everything set, everything set at noon. Here goes. We are on. Not too noisy actually. Okay, okay. So that's quite a tight. Okay, so into this amp. That wouldn't be a bad kind of start for gigging. Um, we'll maybe the volume's fine where it is. I'll put the gain up to two o'clock. Not touch the EQ at all just now. And this dark or bright switch is set in off, so it's not flavouring it at all just now. <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 way better than any distortion pedal from the nineties. Okay, let's just go silly. About four o'clock. That's quite impressive actually, it's very tight, very, very tight. Um, that amount again. Now we've maxed it out and there's no noise gates on this at all. And I'm not touching the... There's the guitar full up. It's really not noisy at all. That's incredibly quiet. Much, actually much quieter than the gain on the amps. <laughs> That's really good. The um, string separation is still there, even on full gain. <laughs> That's quite impressive. Okay, um, before I mess with the EQ, I will switch this to dark. So I'll let a note ring. <laughs> Slight increase in gain, bit more depth, very subtle. And that's kind of I, I could I could quite happily play that in my kind of eighties stuff as well. Um, that wouldn't be out of line. <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking this. I'll put some high end on that. Oh, before I do, I should try the bright. Hang on. Okay, that's added top end. Oh, 
that's still on full gain. And it's still not unwieldy. It's still tight and controlled. I'll take some mids down. Okay, I'm just playing with this here. So. <laughs> Yeah, too much, too much. So if I take off the mid, the mids will really scoop that. Okay, right, so for a bit of lead stuff, the bright really cuts through and adds a lot of harmonic kind of content. Um, whether you'll get that with the dark and turn the treble up, possibly. Oh, that's harsh. That's very harsh. So it's maybe better in bright mode with the treble about halfway. Crank some bass up. I wouldn't advise ever using much more bass than that, especially in a live context, but hey, at home. <laughs> front end of an amp is absolutely phenomenal. Um, <coughs> yeah, honestly, now I'd like to say I'm very much a, an amp guy, but wow. Just turn this with the volume down, see how it rolls off. And I've got the gain still at nine at three o'clock. So if I have the gain about midday. Needs, a, needs that on a bit. Yeah, you need to have the gain about nine o'clock or above, otherwise it sounds choked almost, like there is a, almost a gate noise on it. Do you 
there, that's probably enough gain for most things, to be honest. Try it there, try it in the off. That is so tight, so tight. To be honest, adding the gain just adds a bit of almost depth and intensity rather than fizz. There's really no increase in fizz in this at all. That's quite impressive. The EQ is quite subtle. It doesn't... You're not going to go full metal zone with that. The EQ is going to work with you. So with any amp, I think you're going to get something to work. I quite seem to like it on this bright setting, but um, I'm, I'm coming from that era of very high gain, quite harmonically rich stuff. The the late 80s kind of sound, so this isn't really meant for that, but it's certainly doing it. Okay, bear with me, I'll just pause this just now and I'll plug this straight into the effects return of this amp, of the Bugera, and see how this works purely as a preamp. So I'm going to miss out all the tone stack and the EQ of the amp and just run and use the amp as a make louder device. Hold on a second. I think, yeah, this pedal certainly works much better into the front end of an amp. Way, way more harmonic content, more definition. That sounds, even with the treble set at three o'clock, quite high up. And even when I had that in the bright setting, it still sounds quite muddy somehow. <laughs> It's very two-dimensional, it's very boxy, so that, that does not bode well. Uh, I'm not so keen on that. So if I just play a touch with this, without touching any controls, I'll pop this into the front of the amp again. Switch off the effects loop as it was, and that's very much brighter, so I can tone that down. Really, these controls all around noon seem to work very, very well. Night and day, yep. No doubt about it. So if you've got an amplifier that runs clean, a nice clean tone, that will really work well. Really, really work well. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing, which is swap over. Now remember, oh, I'll just do that. Clean tone. <laughs> Wow, okay, right, I'm going to swap over and do a little bit on a seven string. And I never really play the seven string very much. I'm not that fond of it. It's an Ibanez uh, RG74, whatever. But good guitar, lovely to play, but I'm not that keen on the Ibanez quantum pickups in it. But um, 
A lot of people interested in this pedal will be playing drop tuned much lower than I do, which I tend to play in D. So I'll go and get the seventh string and it's tuned in B. So it's a standard tuning with the low B. So uh, if, you used, if you're usually using a seventh string or a baritone, that should tick that box. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back again. There's lots of pausing on and off here. Um, as you see, this is my Ibanez 7 string here. It is, for your record, it is an RG7420Z. So it's a kind of standard series pink knobs that I've fitted, but with the Ibanez trem on it and quantum pickups. So, here goes. That's it in the middle position, the off position. Now, I think that off position would work okay if you were putting something in front of that, like a, an SD1 or something to boost it. But you don't need to. Really, in the bright mode, or, or the, the dark, the dark adds a tightness and the gain. The bright adds is obviously a brightness. But that, without any boosts, is more than enough gain. Um, and if that's similar to how the purple channel is in the Rev Generator 120, I, I want one. I really do. That's... <laughs> Wow, okay. Ah, I've kicked the cable out. Ah, that's why you always should wrap your cable around your strap. If you don't do that. Okay, so I'll pause it there. I think that's enough for the sound, really. The gain is nice and controllable. It doesn't increase in zuzziness or fizziness as you turn the gain up. It just gets a little bit more intense. But it's subtle. There's always gain on tap. Don't bother going below 9 o'clock. Volume I've just set to parity. Bright, I love that. With the EQ pretty much set straight up. A touch more bright. But that will depend very much on your amp setup and your pickups. I've got my amp set with all the controls on noon. So I've still got tons of control there. And the Bugera... It's a, an active EQ, so if I can cut and boost frequencies with it. But that is absolutely incredible. And they're 
50 euros. So I'll put a link to that below. Anyway, right, I'll get this packed up and put the camera back so you can actually see my ugly mug and uh, do a conclusion. Okay, <laughs> what, what can I say? I'm impressed. You know, made, made in China, not, not expensive, quite light, um, but metal case, lovely color, L love these lighting up, that, that's, that's great. Solid switch, knobs are solid, but the, the sweep I've found smooth. There's nothing drastic. It's not as if you're going from, you know, halfway to melting your face off. It's pretty much thick, solid, great rhythm, great lead sound. It, it's pretty much as good as the amp. I'm a bit, a bit shocked. I knew they were meant to be good, and I know the Rev version is meant to be exceptionally good. I've seen enough videos of that, but good grief. 50 euros and you turn anything into an absolute high gain monster of an amp. So uh, I would recommend, for, for, for all my recommendations are worth, but I would recommend that. Uh, that's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, and I'm going to play with that a lot more today and tomorrow and the next day. Oh, um, there is a little switch there I can if I show you on the back. That lets me switch on and off these lights if I don't want them on. So flick that switch and they go off. So you don't have to have, you know, Blackpool illuminations if you don't want them. Personally, I like that. I think that's great. It's a three, oh, it's a three-way switch, so it might all light up when you press. Hold on, I can do this. So we've got them all on, and then that one on. If I go right forward. Ah, okay, yeah. So if I have the switch set, it's three position off. In the middle, this stays on all the time. And if I put this, the little switch full forward, they come on when I press the on off switch. So that is great. Um, I'm like I say, I'm just running it off this little setup here, which I've done a video of that by the way. And this little gadget, is an absolute lifesaver. I can run a couple of pedals or more. I can actually run a little daisy chain off this. Uh, the power consumption of this, it's in the manual. It doesn't say here. Center negative, just the same as any other pedal. That you, pretty much any other pedal, disclaimer, that you get. And wow. So there you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, I have another pedal to do. And I'll do that another day because I'm going to play with this one. Um, I'm quite impressed. Okay, thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe. I've done half an hour on a pedal again. I'm not sure. I, I seem to run out of time. I try and be as thorough as I can. And then uh, find things that this does. But thank you very much. Bye-bye.